Record-breaking floodwaters continue to sweep through Yellowstone National Park and the riverbeds, roads, and cabins nearby. It'll take a while for the tourism industry to bounce back from this catastrophe, and it could take years for the soil and land to return to normal. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser has more on the agricultural impact and what it could mean for the food and crops sent here to Utah. Heartbreaking, devastating, cruel. That is insane. These are the words farmers use to describe the way Mother Nature is flooding Yellowstone Park and nearby land. She's still in charge. Uh, she's all, she's very powerful and unforgiving. Walter Schweitzer with the Montana Farmers Union says farmers are bracing for more flooding as the snowpack melts. The Yellowstone area still has a lot of snow to come out. And so these floods are, are, um, are not going to go away anytime soon. He says Montana's biggest agricultural products are livestock and wheat, with 95% of the wheat harvest shipped across the country and overseas. A lot of agricultural production does uh, uh, follow the river valleys. And, uh, and so there's, you know, some of our, our, uh, our better soils will, will be in those river valleys. And now in the Yellowstone, it's all underwater. Brett Moline with the Wyoming Farm Bureau Federation says Park County, the county right next to Yellowstone, is one of the most intensely irrigated areas in the state. Barley, alfalfa, a little bit of corn, sugar beets, dry beans. Essentially, any crop that's grown in Wyoming is going to be grown up in uh, the Park County area. The Wyoming Department of Agriculture says cattle and sheep make up a majority of livestock in that area. Moline says he hasn't heard of any reported flooding to farmland there and hopes dams and reservoirs can mitigate future risk. I think most of that water is uh, flowing west. So the, the impact on uh, for the private lands in Wyoming, I think, will be much less than what's happening up in Montana. Oh, you can see. State agriculture officials say it's too early to know the full extent to what crops were damaged and how this could affect prices down the line. There is one thing for sure. Recovery will take time. Montana, agriculture is our number one industry. But tourism is, a, is, a, is right there as well. And we're going to depend on help from Congress to be able to survive both of these hits. Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah. The Montana Farmers Union has agriculture ambassadors reaching out to farmers in the affected areas to learn about the damages and how they can help.